Earnings season is almost here again, and many consider it to be the next big hurdle for the stock market. Alcoa unofficially kicks off the second quarter reporting period on Wednesday. But similar to last quarter, this one is not expected to impress. Dominic Chu has more. It's time to kick off earnings season yet again. And what happens over the next few weeks will really set the tone for stocks in the second half of 2015. The first thing investors should know is that expectations for profit growth are already low. According to data compiled by Thomson Reuters IBIS, analysts are looking for profit declines of 3% for S&P 500 companies. But just because the expectation is for a decline doesn't mean it necessarily plays out that way. First quarter earnings surprised everybody to the upside. And we think second quarter earnings are going to surprise the upside too. This is backed up by better economic numbers than I think most people expected. And U.S. fundamentals continue, we think, uh, to pace the rest of the world. So we think earnings actually are going to be in pretty good condition. There are a couple of key sectors to keep an eye on. Energy stocks are expected to be the biggest drag on profit growth as oil prices remain a focus. As for the biggest gain in profits, it's the financial sector. So bank stocks will be key. There are other pockets of the market that, frankly, are doing pretty well. So we happen to think that uh, uh, financials, consumer discretionary, uh, industrials, technology are areas that, uh, that should produce some, some pretty good numbers, certainly uh, compared to uh, very difficult comparisons in the energy space. Of course, that's the rosier outlook. The bearish case is still looking at a stock market that hasn't seen a significant pullback in years, and that's amidst a backdrop of bigger picture risks from all over the world. Still, some see U.S. stocks as a safer bet on a relative basis to many other markets globally. I think that volatility around the world is going to continue, and I, what I think investors have to rely on and really appreciate is the stability and consistency of U.S. earnings growth. I think will ultimately garner even more assets in terms of investment dollars back to the U.S. the second half of 2015. The corporate profit growth picture could go a long way to showing whether the U.S. stock rally has legs or is due for a breather. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.